Ms. Jeffrey, uh, you have up to two minutes to respond. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to thank the member from Oxford. I know he supports the, the principle of this bill. He spoke about a contractor's opposition to this legislation. I know developers and contractors are concerned about this legislation, but I'd like to encourage them to embrace this proven technology in the same way they do environmental and energy initiatives. To the member from Beaches East York, I appreciate his ongoing support on this issue. He gets it, and he understands that fire life sa safety is not a partisan issue. I like the idea of a sprinkler revolution, so I'll think about that. To the member from Niagara Falls, I thank him for his ongoing support. Uh, it's unfortunate that fires continue to take a toll on our residents, and I'm sorry they're happening in Niagara Falls. To the member from York Southwestern, I thank her for speaking and sharing that tragic fire in her community and how she lost uh, such a young life at such an early age. Um, it's unfortunate the fires continue to take a toll in Ontario, and that's why I'm here again today. This is my one chance to talk about something that I'm passionate about, and, and we are the voice of all Ontarians across this province. The most vulnerable, the elderly, the disabled, and children are at most risk when their home is on fire, and they rely on us to, when we find out about good technologies or good ideas, to put those ideas forward and not wait until a building code review happens or, or some opportunity. We're here to react and be nimble when things are obvious to us. This is an obvious piece of legislation, and I am committed to seeing the legislation passed so we can protect all Ontarians across all of our ridings in this province. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well done.